Hi everyone, I'm Catherine. Thank you so much for coming to my channel, Catherine's Plates, where I like to cook for you, do grocery hauls, what's for dinners, and desserts. But today I'm going to be bringing you a casserole using several of my favorite ingredients. One being pierogi. This is something I grew up with and to this day my mom still makes homemade pierogies that I can put in my freezer and have whenever I want. So I'm going to be putting that with another favorite ingredient of mine, kielbasa sausage. Then I'm going to top the whole thing off with this creamy, cheesy sauce. All right, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you are notified when all of my videos come out. All right, y'all, let's get started. All right, so I've got everything laid out that we're going to need to make our pierogi sausage casserole. It's going to come together pretty quickly, y'all. So the first thing we're going to need is your pierogi. Now, this is the frozen type that I get from my mom. You can find these in your store, in your frozen section. You can also use frozen ravioli for this if you'd like also. You're going to need some chicken broth, some cracked black pepper or just regular pepper, some cheddar cheese, sour cream, your Polska kielbasa, or any kind of sausage that you would like, some cream cheese, and then your casserole dish. All right, so in the back, I've got a pot of boiling water because I'm going to go ahead and start cooking my pierogi and getting those done. It won't take any time at all, y'all. I'm going to put them in the water. When they float up to the top, I give them just another 20 seconds and then pull them out. All right, I just give it a little bit of salt. And then I'm going to add my pierogies in. And I'll probably do these in two batches to give them room so they can move around and cook. Oh, pierogies are my favorite pasta dish. Homemade ones. Yeah, you can't beat it. All right, I'll let those sit in there for just a few minutes. All right, so when these are ready to come out, I'm going to go ahead and strain them and then just put them into my casserole dish here and get that ready. Now these are going to take just a few minutes. So I like to add like a tablespoon of butter into them. This will keep it from sticking. So just kind of mix it around with the butter. And that'll keep it from sticking. And it'll coat your casserole dish too. There we go. Alright, so I have cooked my pierogi and didn't take any time at all, just a few minutes for each batch. Got my Polska kielbasa sausage link here, and all I'm doing is just cutting these into discs, and I'm just going to put those into my casserole dish here with the pierogi. If you've never had pierogi before, you have no idea. It's just like a little, like like a ravioli almost. This is a cheese one, so my mom fills these with a cheddar cheese and then a, just a tiny sprinkle of sugar in each one, and I'm telling you what, they are so delicious. Now they do have pierogies out there in the store that you can get that have like potato and onion and other things like that, so you can try those certainly. And you can even try this dish. I would even make this with like ravioli, like cheese ravioli, the frozen ones that you find in the store. Okay, I think that's plenty. I'm going to take my, my little spurtle that I like to call it, my little spurtle. <laughs> All right, so make sure that you preheat your oven at 375 degrees. All right, y'all, we're going to go ahead now and make the creamy cheese sauce that we're going to put into our casserole. And I'm going to be using half a pack of cream cheese. You want this really softened. Mine's not very softened, so I'm going to stick it in the microwave for just a few seconds and soften it up. I wind up doing that quite a bit, so... <laughs> What I'm going to do now is add about half a cup of shredded cheese to that. I love this new grater that I got. It does all kinds of things. <laughs> it chops up my onions, 
tomatoes, cucumbers, and any size you want. And then it also has a grater feature on here that I'm using right here. Look at that. Yeah. Now you can check down in my description box and you'll see all of my Amazon items that I like to use in the kitchen. I think that is perfect right there. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add that. As much cheese as you want, y'all. I'm going to crack some black pepper into here. I like the little cracked black pepper because it's got that little, you know, crunchy pieces. Really give it good. Or you can just use the regular pepper, the black pepper. Alright, so I've got some chicken broth here and I'm just going to like eyeball it a little bit. About half a cup. I was thinking I was going to eyeball it, but I don't think I'm going to eyeball it. Alright, <laughs> I'm going to get my measuring cup. Alright. Then I'm gonna add some sour cream to that. About half a cup of sour cream. Yep, that looks good right there. That's perfect. <laughs> all right, put that all in there. I'm just gonna take my spurtle here and just kind of push everything together. Do you, you know it smells good in there, right? <laughs> it does. Move my casserole over here. Y'all can see how yummy that looks. I think we got a good mix. I think. All right, let me taste this. Oh my gosh. I can just imagine. That's delicious. You know what it needs though? A little bit of salt. Got a mix again. I'm gonna pour this all over my casserole right here. Alright y'all, I'm going to put this in the oven. I'm going to cover this with tin foil. Alright. It's going to cook in my preheated oven at 375 degrees for 22 to 25 minutes. I'm going to pull off the tin foil. I'm going to add just a little bit more shredded cheese on top. Put it back in there for about 3 to 5 minutes on broil. Oh, y'all, you're not going to believe this one. I'll be back. Oh my goodness, that smells good. All right. Take the tin foil off, away from me. Some steam gets on me. Ooh. Oh, it smells delicious. All right, I'm gonna top it with some cheese here. Oh, that's plenty right there. All right, I'm gonna put it back in my oven, put it on broil for another five minutes. Oh my goodness, y'all, there it is. I am going to plate this up for you and we're gonna give it a try. All right, there's my pierogi sausage casserole and it smells amazing. There we go. And then all I did was steam up some broccoli and cauliflower to go with it. I'm ready to taste one for you. Oh. Mm. Mm. That's delicious. Mm -hmm. yeah. That creamy, cheesy sauce, the pulsa, kielbasa, and the pierogies all together. All right, y'all, make this dish. Try it. It's simple to put together. It's all in one casserole. All right, y'all, comment down below what you think. Give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below with that bell notification and you'll always know when my shows are posted. All right, I will see you on my next episode.